How to find outliers, step-by-step -step guide. What is an outlier? Definition 1 of outlier is an extreme value that is much less than or much greater than other data veils. Definition 2 of outliers are extreme values that differ from most other data points in a data set. Definition 3 of outliers are values at the extreme ends of a data set. The synonyms of outliers are extreme values, atypical observations, conditional unusual values and observations outside the expected relations. Why outlier present in data? The outliers are present in data all the time because of sensor malfunction, error in data transmission, transcription error, fraudulent behavior, sample contamination and interesting natural occurrence. Outliers have a strong effect on the mean and standard deviation and also affect the estimates. For example, with small data sets, one big outlier can seriously affect OLS estimate. Outlier do not affect median. There are four methods to detect outliers. Number one method is sorting method. Number two method is statistical test, z-scores. Number three method is interquartile range, IQR, method. Number four method is data visualization method. How to find outlier? To answer this question, there are four methods to find outliers in data values. The first method is sorting method in which is simple way to sort quantitative variables from low to high and scan for extremely low or extremely high values. Flag any extreme values that you find. The second method is using statistical test, z-score, or statistical outlier detection method is to find outlier to identify extreme values. You can convert extreme data points into z-scores that tell you how many standard deviations away they are from the mean. If a value has a high enough or low enough z-score, it is an outlier. As a rule of thumb, values with a z-score greater than 3 or less than minus 3 are outliers. The third method is interquartile range, IQR, method in which you can use IQR to create fences around your data and then define outliers as any values that fall outside those fences. The six steps of IQR method are given as under. Step 1 is, sort your data from low to high. Step 2 is, identify the first quartile, Q1, the median, and the third quartile, Q3. Step 3 is, calculate IQR by subtracting Q1 from Q3. Step 4 is, calculate lower fence which is equal to subtracting the product of 1.5 and IQR from Q1. Step 5 is, Calculate upper fence which is equal to adding the product of 1.5 and IQR from Q3. Step 6 is, use your fences to highlight any outliers, all values that fall outside your fences. The fourth method is data visualization method in which you can also find outliers by using software to visualize your data with a box plot, so you can see the data distribution at a glance. This type of chart highlights minimum and maximum values, the range, the median, and the interquartile range for your data. Many computer programs highlight an outlier on a chart with an asterisk, and these will lie outside the bounds of the graph. There are many features of an outlier such as it may be a positive or negative number in data. It is an observation which is different from data. But in this observation, a mistake say a result of measurement error or part of heavy-tailed distribution. Clustering are groups points that are similar while outlier detection finds point that are different. If an outlier is the result of measurement error or represents data from the wrong population, it is usually removed. They can have a big impact on your statistical analyses and skew the results of any hypothesis tests. 
True outliers should always be retained in your dataset because these just represent natural variations in your sample. An outlier isn't always a form of incorrect data, so you have to be careful with them in data cleansing. Example 1 is sorting method. There are nine observations which are not in ascending order. Thus, after sorting you can easily observe 10 and 1,787 are two outliers present in dataset. Example 2 is statistical test method, z-scores. In example 2 the dataset of 16 observations are given. First of all you have to find mean then standard deviation which are 113.8750 and 100.2191. For help, the MS Excel formula are also given from mean and standard deviation. After that I have given the MS Excel formula of score first observation which is subtracting 113.8750 from 79 divided by 100.2191 to get Z score of minus 0.3480. In this way, we can find Z score of remaining 15 observations. It is important tip that is you can also write mean and SD values by fixing it with dollar sign in Z score formula instead writing values in MS Excel. After pressing enter, you can get first observation value which is minus 0.3480 in C2 cell and then drag it to get all C3 to C17 column values of Z scores. Here the last observation 500 is outlier because its z-score value is greater than 3 which is 3.8528. Example 3 is interquartile range, IQR, method. Step 1 is to sort data in ascending order. In step 2, identify median, Q1 and Q3. The median is the value exactly in the middle of your dataset when all values are ordered from low to high. Since you have 11 values, the median is the sixth value. The median value is 31. The Q1 is the value in the middle of the first half of your dataset, excluding the median. The first quartile value is 26. The Q3 value is in the middle of the second half of your dataset, excluding the median. The third quartile value is 41. In step 3, calculate IQR by subtracting Q1 from Q3. Thus by subtracting 26 from 41 to get value of IQR value of 15. In step 4 the lower fence value is equal to 3.5 while in step 5 the upper fence value is equal to 63.5. In step 6, use your fences to highlight any outliers, 64 is greater than upper fence value of 63.5. Therefore, 64 is an outlier. While there are no values less than 3.5. Thus, there are no outliers present on lower or left side of dataset. Example 4 is data visualization method, box plot based on data of previous example 3. The lower fence is equal to 3.5, Q1 is equal to 26. Median is equal to 31, Q3 is equal to 41, and upper fence is equal to 63.5. 64 is greater than upper fence value of 63.5. Therefore, 64 is an outlier. While there are no values less than 3.5. Thus, there are no outliers present on lower or left side of dataset. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.